everyone so today I'm gonna do a chit chat get ready with me because I'm bored and I want to film it's so hot in here though like I just went outside to do the washing and it's literally like a million degrees outside <sighs> so now I'm thinking it's a really bad idea to probably put on makeup because it's probably gonna like slide straight off because I'm so hot but I'm bored as I said so I'm gonna film so I'm just gonna tie back my hair we'll pin it back with my cool as trendy um, headbands Hello. I call him Louis Longlegs because his legs are like ginormous. He's camera shy. Why are you being camera shy? <sighs> I'm regretting this already. Okay, so as a lot of you would have noticed, probably, I've been really obsessed with MAC Blue Brown Pigment. So I'm going to try and create a different look using this today. Don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to wing it. So I'm going to start off with my base. I'm going to use my Leo Ali Dollish Vita Vita BB cream, Veal Vita BB cream, whatever this is called. My skin's cleared up so much, I've just got scarring and stuff. It keeps like getting perfect and then like the next day I'll get like one pimple. And then it'll be perfect and then I get one pimple, it's so annoying. But it's so much better than it was a few weeks ago, so I'm happy. So this is green and then it kind of adjusts to your skin tone as you rub it in. It smells like sunscreen, so I love it because I love the smell of sunscreen. As you can see, it's like uber duper, super duper. <laughs> what does that even mean? Uber duper, super duper. Um, super pale for me, so of course I'm going to fall out with a little bit of foundation just to even out my skin tone. I've been absolutely obsessed with this lately. My Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow. I always think that's like the most weird name ever. Benefit Foundation. I love this. I'm using my Angled Top Exo Beauty Brush. I'm just going to put this all over my face. I don't know why I love this foundation so much. I think it's just like the finish. The formula is really good because it's really lightweight, but it still has like medium to full coverage. But it doesn't feel heavy and it has a really, really, really pretty dewy kind of natural dewy finish. Like nothing too dewy, just like a good amount. Crap, I just realized I've got fake tan on. It's a little bit pale. And then my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. Louis thinks it's real fun to like take all of my stuff and put it in his bed. He's like a little magpie, like he'll come in here and find things like shoes and like tissues and baby wipes and lipsticks and anything he can find and grab because he's real tall when he stands up and he'll like climb up on things and steal things and then thinks he's real cool and steals them and puts them in his little bed. Like he loves Hamish's gym shoes, he likes to put them in his bed. And it's just like so funny because he thinks he's being real low-key but like he runs across in front of us with a big shoe into his tiny little bed and thinks that we can't find it like he's a bit silly as soon as i put on these lights in here it's so hot can't wait to move and like have um you know natural sunlight all the time hopefully i'm pretty sure the room i chose has like sunlight all year well not all year but like sunlight all day I should say. I'm going to use my pressed powder. This is my NARS Barcelona and I use this when I'm fake tanned a bit more because it's a little bit darker than what I normally wear. I'm just going to pat this on my face. And then I'm using my e.l.f. HD under eye setting powder and I'm going to use this on my tapered small face brush by Exo Beauty. So my foundation looks a bit pale still and it is a little bit, I think I've got a little bit of a natural tan with my fake tan so I'm like extra extra dark right now and I don't have anything that matches so I'm just going to have to load up on the bronzer. Um, so I actually brought Casino by NARS so I'm going to try Casino and see how Casino looks on me. You can see it's like quite a bit darker so it's just good if I want like a real deep glow and I don't want to like build up heaps of products on my face like it's just a lot darker. Oh, I love it. It's such a nice colour. I'm just going to contour a little bit. I think I've just got to be a bit more careful with this bronzer that I don't put on too much because otherwise it'll look real dirty on my skin tone. But I really love the colour. It's really nice. This is a little e.l.f. blush brush that I'm contouring with at the moment. And now I'm going to fill in these brows.
If you couldn't tell, I have been loving this. I think it was about time I started experimenting with some other products for my brows because I've been using my e.l.f. brow kit for like a couple years now. I still love it, obviously. But, I don't know. I'm just really liking the way this makes my brows look lately. And I'm using my Ico brow gel and I'm just going to... Someone just texted me, interrupting me. I'm just going to brush this through. Someone's excited to talk to me. Now I'm going to take my Pro Longwear Paint Pot by MAC in Eclair and my round top blender brush synthetic brush thing from XO Beauty and I'm just going to put that on my lid. Now from the Loric Pro palette I'm going to take Sable, that like real warm tone brown colour there and I'm using that on a tapered crease brush by XO Beauty and I'm just going to put this on well like into the crease and out of the kind of area just to start blending it all out. I'm also going to take the cream and white colours and just highlight my brow bone. And also my inner corner a little bit. I'll probably do some more highlighting there later though. And then I'm going to take my blue brown and pigment by MAC. And I'm just going to apply this like all over my lid. I'm just using my eyeshadow blender brush by XO Beauty. And I'm just going to kind of wiggle that onto my lid. And then I'm going to take another MAC pigment. I've never done this before. I'm just completely winging this. So I hope it looks good. This is in Golden Olive. And it's a really pretty like golden olive greeny colour. So I'm just going to pat this on the kind of inner... I might do like half. I don't know. I don't even know if this is going to look good or not. I really like the colour but I might go over with a little bit more blue brown again just because I feel like I don't have enough on there. Like it's not as opaque as I want it. I want it a bit more like duochrome. I might go like halfway. Now I'm just going back over with that blue brown. That creates quite a cool effect because depending on what kind of way I'm looking, it changes colour completely. Yay! I get real excited when I find like cool comb combinations. Colour combinations! I'm just going to put whatever's on my brush under the back end of my lower lash line. I'm going to try out this Ico Gold Liquid Eyeliner. I'm going to attempt to put this on my like lower lash line kind of area. That looks really cool. I hope it doesn't run into my eye and hurt. <laughs> I really like this liquid eyeliner but a lot comes out when you twist it so you just have to be real careful. I have no idea what I'm doing with my life right now, look at me. I'm just like playing with makeup but it's fun so whatevs. I just looked for my hyper glossy liquid eyeliner for like 15 minutes I cannot find it anywhere and I'm panicking but I've got my e.l.f. liquid eyeliner so I'm going to use this one. That eyeliner is like screwed. I think it's really old. So I'm going to use my Ico Liquid Metal Black Onyx liquid eyeliner. And I don't know how well this is going to work for me. Because I'm not used to this kind of applicator. But fingers crossed. Because I'm having a really bad eyeliner day. That was a nightmare. My eyeliner is not great today, so please excuse it. I'm now going to use a mascara, and I'm trying this one out for the very first time. This is the L'Oreal False Lash Wings Mascara. It looks like this, so let's give it a go. It's got a really weird wand. If you can see, it's kind of like winged up on one side. It's kind of awkward to use, but it's giving me really good results. 
heaps of, you can't really tell because I've got so much like eyeliner on, but heaps and heaps of volume and length. And it's not clumpy at all, it's really black. Ooh, I like it. I'm gonna use some of the Gold Digger Lashes by EXO Beauty that look like this, because they will make my eyes look really big and sexy. Okay, now I need bottom lash mascara that I don't know why I say things so weird sometimes but whatever okay the eye makeup is done what do you guys think it's a bit of a mixture of colors but I quite like the combination I love this pigment so much okay time to move on to the rest of the face I swear I am such a dork sometimes but it's okay I think something quite kind of neutral maybe although for some reason this is screaming at me I'm just gonna try it on. It might look shit, but we'll try it on. Oh, by the way, it's Cosmo Pop by Lime Crime. It's a bit of fun. I kind of like it. And then I just need a little bit of blush. I think I'm gonna use Liberté by NARS. EXO Beauty Precise Blush Brush. And then to highlight, I'm gonna use Soft and Gentle by MAC on tops of my cheeks. And that is the look done. My hair is like all over the show. I actually really like it. Like really like it. I really like it. I really like it. I really like it. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in a comment. I love reading my comments from you guys so much. For some reason it doesn't let me comment back to some of you. Like some people I can comment back and then other people I can't. It must have something to do with Google Plus or something. But anyways, I love reading my comments and I hope you guys enjoyed this look and Please thumbs up if you did and if you would like to I'd love it if you would share it on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram or wherever you want just because it helps me to really get my videos out there. It really does help me out so much and I really appreciate it and I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Shaky because I'm just hand holding the camera. So here I have one of those like 28 color palettes or 120 color whatever they are. The Smashbox Masterclass 2 palette, the Favorite Things Too Faced palette, I have Lorac Pro and Lorac Unzipped, Naked 1 and Naked 2, Z palettes which I just have random stuff in. And